Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do a bit of a haul. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to, but I have bought a hell of a lot of colouring books looking at the pile. I didn't realise how many there are actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 17 colour books, 20 if you count the three I bought for Jennifer, even though she's too young for them yet. So, and some supplies. So, um, I thought I'd show you everything that I've bought. Um, some things I've already coloured in. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is I bought two packets of Sharpies. So, I'm just going to put this up a bit. It's a bit low actually. Let me take that up. There we are. So, I bought two packets of Sharpies. I've emptied one packet into this draw because I have been using them. Some of them are pretty much duplicate colours but it doesn't really bother me. I'm going to put them all in the one drawer because I do use them again and again for colouring mandalas. Or mandalas? Mandalas? The second thing I bought is a set of uh, pens that are metallic pens and they're like metallic brush pens. As you can see, if it'll focus. Yeah, it doesn't focus very well. Let me see if I've got a piece of paper I can use. Hang on a second. That's not the right kind of paper this bit will do. So, if I just do that. It sort of looks like that. But they're really metallic. And I bought that because I've got a book I want to use some metallic pens in. So... They're really nice actually. They're smaller than I thought, but they're going to be fine for what I want. So those are the supplies I bought. It was literally just two packets of Sharpies and those pens. So I'm just gonna zoom out all the way, make sure I'm all the way out. There we go, that's where I wanna be. I've got so much stuff on this table at the moment. I'm trying to get this done while the baby's quiet because she, um, she just woke up, gone back to sleep again. So the first one is uh, Easy Flower Mandalas, an adult coloring book by Stefania Miro. I have been colouring in this one, as you can see, that's why it's a bit curly. I've also got a piece of paper in there because I've been using Sharpies, as you can see. But I'm not gonna do a full flip through because I will be posting a full flip through on that shortly. Um, just something I can do, I can sit and hold the baby with one arm and I can um, obviously colour with the other one. So there's that one. Then, I got obviously uh, the Jade Summer Easter Colouring Book, which is Colouring Book for Beginners. It's just really cute. Um, I've only done one picture in this. I'll be showing you that when I do my uh, April coloured pictures. I've still got to do December through March, which I will be doing fairly shortly. Um, there is a flip through of this up if you want to have a look for it. The next one I bought is Colour It's Colour of the Decades. Now, with Colour It, they don't actually sell them over here. Or if they do, they're like second hand. You actually have to order them from America. It took ages to come, but I'm really glad it did because I just love these pictures. I'm so going to enjoy colouring in this one. And the paper's amazing. So I really, really like that book. I then bought, after having seen it on so many people's channels, Rita Berman's My Summer Walk. I will be getting the other ones. It's a nice, actually, small one, and I'll probably take it when I go on holiday because it's not huge. Um, quite detailed, but I really do like the pictures in this. I'm sure there's plenty of flip throughs of this on YouTube. Um, but let me know, and I'll do one if you want me to. Uh, then I got Remember When Adult Coloring Book Hollywood Screen Stars. So I have done a flip through this, I just haven't uploaded it to my channel yet. So I'll just show you a few pages and I will put the flip through up fairly soon so you can have a good look. I bought a few Creative Haven books this month. I've got one, two, three. I got Vintage Hand Fans. Jazz Age Fashions. And Art Deco Egyptian Designs. And I don't know why I always pick the books that are really detailed and difficult, but they're really detailed and difficult. So I will have a go at them at some point. Though. That's those. Uh, then the reason I bought those metallic pens is because I want to use it in this, the Celtic colouring book. 
Um, I have filmed a flip through of this. I will be putting it up at some point. Um, I don't know when. I just thought doing some of these with the metallics would look quite nice. I might get some acrylic paint to paint out the backgrounds uh, as well. So like that, that's really nice. So there's that one. I then got another Jade Summer book, which this time, this is Flower Girls. So again, normal story with Jade Summers. Uh, two images of each picture for you to colour and a free digital download if you so wish. I've seen this, some pictures coloured from this and I just thought they looked really nice, so I wanted to get them. Then I got another Jade Summer one, Live Your Dreams. This is one that puts um, little life affirming messages in it. Now this one apparently has 50 completely different different ones. I have filmed a flip through this one but I haven't put it up yet in which I say oh there'll be two of everything and then I discover that there's not but I'm not going to change it and not going to refilm it but I really like that. You do of course get your digital download as well. And the last Jade Summer book which is the fourth one I'm not going to lie is Beautiful Dresses. Again I've seen this on lots of channels and I've really really liked them and I thought I really want this book uh, so I I thought I'll get it this month when I do you know when I do, did a bit of ordering. The next one I got is a really really big one and that is uh, Country Colourful Mandalas colour frame display and it's uh, by uh, it's called My Little Art Gallery. Now this I bought from Lidl's which is a supermarket in the UK but I have seen that there is another one which is a nature one that they had in and that one is available on the Book People's website. I think it was, yeah, the Book People's website so this might be available too. I didn't see it but I wasn't really looking for it. Um, these ones are perforated and they're on very thick card stock. Um, I have filmed a flip through so I'm not going to actually open it up because they are falling out already because that's how loose they are. Not that it matters because I can just tuck them back in as if it's a sort of portfolio. I told Light there is another Creative Haven one. You've already seen this in, in I think, a flip through. I don't know if I put it up. I think I did. Um, Designer Desserts. This is one that I'm going to be doing a colouring and catch up from once I finish the Hannah Lynn. Um, I really like this one. It's just really cute. And like I said, I have done a flip through. So, oh, the baby's scuffling again in the corner. So I better get, get a move on with this. I then got a book, obviously I've got the, uh, another of the Colour in Haven books, which is the Animals Special. This one was the one that came out in February, something like that. I got it when I got out of hospital and it was the last day, or around the last day before the anime one comes, came out, which I haven't got because I'm not really into anime. But the next one is Hannah Lynn and I will be definitely getting that one. I then also got a... Uh, Fairy Garden Spring colouring book. This is by Deanne Black. This is on Create Space Paper, but it's really cute. Nice little patterns. And these are only really cheap. And the last of my colouring books I picked up was Seasons by Hannah Carlson. So again, there's lots of flip throughs of this on, I'm sure, on, uh, on YouTube. I haven't actually started anything in here, but I think I'm gonna start in this one next because they're just stunning, as are all of Hannah Carlson's books. I only have to get Daydreams now and the jewellery box when it comes out, so I'm really pleased and I've nearly done it. So those are all my colouring books. Now, in Lidl's, they had three colouring books for children for 99p, so while Jennifer is far too small for them right now, they were so cute, I could not resist picking them up. So the first one is the Little Lambs colouring book, and there's over 30 pictures to colour, and there's a little lamb on the cover. And these are just... The, I mean, it's thin paper, it's double-sided, it's clearly for children, but they are really, this is such a cute little book. The pictures are so adorable that when she is old enough to colour, and I can just put them away, um, they'll be there for her. That's if I haven't coloured them in first. They were in Freester. There was also the Little Chicks colouring book. And these have got all little Easter eggs in them, so it's perfect for Easter when she's a bit older. Oh, look at the duck, it's so cute. So how, how do you reckon these are gonna, gonna last until she's old enough to color them or do you think I'm gonna color them first? <laughs> They're so cute. And the last one is Little Bunnies coloring book. And it's certainly, again, it's over 30 pictures to color. And they're just really cute bunnies and little owl and rainbows. And 
I think they're such a cute little book. So every now and again, I will go and pick out some books for the Jennifer when I see them, if I see any. So I know this has been a really quick run through of them, but I, literally I've got to do things really quickly now, unfortunately. Um, so if you've enjoyed this, please like, uh, like this video and uh, leave me a comment down below uh, if you want to see any flip throughs. Some of them I have filmed flip throughs for, some of them I haven't, but if you want to see a flip through of any of the books that I've just shown you, please, please let me know. Um, for the ones I purchased off of Amazon, I will try and leave a link below for you for both Amazon U US and Amazon UK um, for each one. Just be aware that if there is an Amazon link, I am an affiliate on both the UK and the US sites. So if you do purchase anything using that link, I will receive a small commission. So that is everything. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will be back as soon as I can with a colour and catch up. We'll carry on with Hannah Lynn. Um, like I said, I've got lots of videos I need to make and I'm trying to do it, but it, it's very difficult. For instance, Friday I wanted to film the third part of the Hannah Lynn colouring catch up but Jennifer had her shots on that day um, her first inoculations and she was just so grumpy all day I was holding her she would not let me put her down every time I moved her literally moved even half an inch she would start crying so I couldn't get anything done Paul's been off a few days this week this week as well so it's very hard for me to do it uh, I'm just trying to do it while he's not around and get it done so that's why there's not been very many videos however there, there are going to be loads coming believe me there are loads coming and I'll talk to you more about what sort of things coming up when I do get to do the next colour and chat but that's all for this one I hope to see you all soon I will be doing my completed colouring pages fairly shortly and I will see you all soon so happy colouring bye